Okay, so now we'll discuss the pressure drop and the head loss for you know the steady laminar flow. So actually, this is pressure drop is one of the important quantity that we actually we need to use for engineering applications because this is related to the fan pump or the pumping uh, power requirements. So um, we actually need to know uh, how to guide the pressure drop or the head loss of the system. So we can say actually the pressure changes along the vertical axis so from that sense we can say the pressure change along dp you know, that means dp dx this is we can say constant it is along x axis that means the rate of change of the pressure along the x axis we can say this is constant so now this is the differentiation thing now if we want to get the pressure from here Okay, for the whole system, like this is differential uh, pressure. But if I get the total pressure, then we need to do the integrations. Um, so it is along x axis. So let's say I'll take two points, x equal x one, where I will say, uh, let's say this is the system, where x equal x one, and here I can say it is x one plus l. That's the distance. Okay. So here at this point, let's say pressure p one. This is pressure p two. Okay, so if I integrate it for, you know, x equal, you know, x1, where the pressure is p1, and to x equal x1 plus l, where the pressure is p2, then we will get this. So this is, you know, we need to do all the calculations, but um, I'll not do it. I'll, I'm not going to do that here. So I'm just showing you the final term. So this is the... Uh, you know the dp dx it is equal we can write p2b on over l okay so now um we know delta p this is the pressure variations or in this uh slide we'll say from fluid mechanics um discussion from here we'll say this is delta p it is actually the pressure drop or the pressure loss so if this we need to do a lot of calculations. Previously, we know um, the equations. Um, so if we if we substitute the these equations into the average velocity definitions, you can remember the average velocity definitions. You know, um, yeah, it's not here. So we know the average velocity definitions. So if we substitute this value, okay, and into the average velocity expressions then the pressure drop we can write delta p equal this so now it becomes actually the term where we have you see the term the average velocity so what we did we substitute the equation into the average velocity expression and so we got it here so delta p is like this so here Actually, the pressure drop, it is um, due to the, the viscous effects for the steady laminar flow. And we said this is the pressure loss. We need to do some calculations. We have some discussions, but I actually wanted to, you know, skip those uh, calculations, the discussions. And we're just putting the final equations here. So the pressure loss delta PL uh, will get it is like this. So F delta P L is equal F L over D rho V squared 2. So here this rho V squared 2, you know, this is, you can say it's related to the velocity. So you can say this is actually the dynamic pressure. We discussed it uh, two weeks back. If um, this is the Darcy friction factor, we can get it from here. This is, this is the T omega, you know the shear stress the wall shear stress this is the average velocity so we can get the pressure loss by using this formula so as i said what where we actually don't need to you know drive all the equations but we will uh, we need the final expression so here this is for the circular pipe when it is a laminar flow uh, this is the pressure loss we got this is the Darcy friction factor now for the circular pipe that okay we'll get the friction factor f it is equal 64 over e this is for laminar flow this is base this is basically for laminar flow for turbulent flow we'll use the uh, you know the moody charts here the head loss how we'll calculate the head loss this is actually the pressure drop over the rho g so 
and you will get these expressions like this. So this is the head loss. So when it is laminar flow, the friction factor you see from this expression, it only depends on this Reynolds number, nothing else. Okay, so it depends on the Reynolds number, that means the, you know, the roughness of the pipe surface. Head loss here, when we calculated the head loss, this represents, uh, you know, the additional height that fluid needs to raise uh, by the pump to overcome this frictional effects. So we'll discuss it when we'll solve some problems. So we'll solve definitely a couple of problems where we'll calculate this uh, pressure loss and the head loss. So now here you will see the final terms like um, this is the the five, the pressure loss and the head loss expression that we discussed earlier. Now once we have the head loss or the you know the pressure loss of the pressure drop, then how we can calculate the uh, the pump pumping power? So here we know the pumping power different formulas like we can say it is the volume flow rate and the pressure drop. That's the one thing, or we know. This is the volume flow rate or rho g h is l. We can use the head loss there, or we can also use this the mass flow rate and the head loss. So there are a couple of formulas we can use depending on what sort of information we have. Um, we know from the given problems. When it is the horizontal pipe, he will see this is the expressions like how we can calculate the the you know the average velocity, and this is how we can calculate the volume flow rates. So um, we'll discuss it when we'll solve some problems. So this is basically the, the formulas that which we're going to use when we'll solve the problem. So this is very important. Um, I actually didn't drive all these expressions here, but um, I just, you know, showed, you know, all the formulas, the, you know, the important formulas here that what we need to solve some problems. So we do not need to know actually how we are getting it. That means that all the derivations. So yeah, so that's it. And we'll, we'll use these equations uh, when we'll solve some problem and we'll discuss in details that time.